All right. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm um, doing uh, another video, actually. Hi. Hi, Morgan. Hi, hi. Morgan, turn. Look. Look at everybody. Hey, okay. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. Sorry about that. Morgan wants some attention. Sit. Sit. All right. I am back. Uh, another video in the Christmas lights series. Hold on. I hear my faucet dripping and it's driving me nuts. All right, I'm back. All the distractions should be done for right now. All right, so again, like I was saying, another video in the series of my Christmas lights. Um, this is a question I've seen a couple times in the Facebook groups, but people asking where to find the models for your mini trees. You got your coral mini tree and you've got your pixels pushed into it. Let's go into the computer and find out where and how you model those into X lights. I'll meet you in there. If I don't get lost. All right, as promised, I made it into the computer and we're gonna take a look at X lights. So I do have X lights up. This is my folder in X lights. So if you don't have one, it's a good folder to have. So far, you know, I've been playing with the matrix for my tombstone that I just printed out. Uh, playing with just kind of different settings, a uh, spot. Now we are going to add a mini tree. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, like the Bosco mini trees, that's actually the specific example I saw, where to get the model for that. They can't find the model. Well, finding the model is really easy. x Lights already has it in it. So if we come up here, we have a create new tree. This is for mini trees and mega trees. We click on it. We make it as big as what we want it to be or what we need it to be. Mine are two and four feet. We'll just make this big so everybody can see. So now there's a lot of different settings that we can do in the mini mega tree thing. Um, first of all, we can determine what kind of tree it is. So I'm going to go through kind of the features here and show what it looks like on the screen. So if we have round here, obviously. We can go to a, a flat one and we can go to a ribbon one. So it all depends on the prop you buy or build. I will be using more of a round one. Now we can decide how much of it's gonna actually have lights on it. So you can have lights all the way around. You can have lights only on 180 degrees or half of it, which is what I prefer because that's what people see and it saves me on pixels. So I'm just gonna hit 180, enter. You see we have our 180. Now that's quite a bit of pixels for the trees I have. Rotation in this case and spiral wraps we're not going to deal with, but the top to bottom ratio, this we can deal with just to get a good picture on there. I don't have the stats for mine, but as you see, as we change it, it does change our the look of the tree. That will not affect how your tree actually lights up. Strand orientation, in our case it is vertical, but that's what horizontal would look like. Uh, when I get the spiral tree, I'm guessing some of this is going to kind of be changed like spiral wraps and i'll get into that when i get it i do have the one of the Mattos spiral trees coming here's kind of the meat and potatoes of it so a number of strings nodes per string and strands per string so depending on the tree you're doing depending on your preference you might do a different string for each leg of the tree mine are small enough i think the smaller ones i have in there are 50 pixels and i I think the larger one's 86 pixels. They're small enough that I can do it all on one strand, but you get into like the mega tree and stuff, you're looking probably at a strand and a port per leg of the tree. So in my case, I'm gonna use one strand, or I'm sorry, one string. There are gonna be, we'll just leave it, we'll do the 86, we'll do the big one. They're gonna be 86 total. And then I believe there is five strands per string so this is going to be kind of the legs of the tree and that's what my tree is going to look like now i might be more on that bigger one i'd have to go back and count it but i really don't want to next thing that we do is we're going to decide where the starting location is so my controller you know if this was if this picture here was the house my controller would be here to the right of the tree so i would be putting my tree starting at the bottom right and i always start at the bottom so all my cables are down at the bottom I usually go just in the visualization mode for picking the controller, but that's not quite what this one's about. And then we can go into any of our appearances, submodels, etc. But that's a little bit more of a 
more than a beginner's kind of weight into this. Basically, I wanted to get and show where this model comes from. You make it your own. X Lights has already has it built it in there. Built it. Built it. I can talk really well. X Lights already has it built in there. So you don't have to go out searching on Boscoyo or GE or go searching in the, the model repository on X Lights. It's right here on the front of your screen. Uh, if you have a star, your star would be right here. It is also already built in there. And you can go in, you know, very similar with the nodes per or how many pixels you have, how many strings, how many nodes per string, how many points. So you can change the amount of points. I don't know if I've ever seen an eight point star, but you know, there's an eight point star. Um, the ones that you typically get with these trees are five point stars. And then you can put how many layers are, does it have? I just made it a little bit bigger and crazier, but. So that's just a really quick, dirty, simple on the star. I, I haven't gotten anything crazy in stars yet personally. My stars are just the ones you get from Boscoyo and they're usually 20 and that's usually the star I have. Again, it's just built in right there. Very easy for you. All right, that's the end of this video. I'm going to go do some house cleaning and enjoy some of the nice weather we have before the heat and storms roll back through. And I will catch you guys later when I have more information to provide. Thank you, enjoy your decorating.